Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to show you how you can optimize your listings for Amazon FBA using Helium 10. If you do not yet have a Helium 10 account or you would like to upgrade your Helium 10 account, I will leave a link in the description that will give you access to my creator bonuses and with these you can either get 20% off for 6 months or 10% off every month for life by using either of these codes. Okay, so to optimize our listings using Helium 10, the very first thing that we need to do is find the best possible keywords for the product that we are going to sell. So let's say in this example that I am going to sell a water flosser. We want to go to Amazon and type in the name of your product. Then what we are going to do is skip past all of these sponsored posts because this video is not about creating ads. And we want to start going to these posts right here that don't say sponsored. Now, once we have these posts opened up, what we are now going to do is go over to Helium 10 go to tools and open up this Cerebro tool right here. This is a reverse product lookup and this is essentially going to take all of these top listings right here and tell us what keywords are they ranking for? What are the best possible keywords that we can use for our product? So for each one of these, we just want to click in and open this up. And then once we are on the product right here, all we have to do is scroll right down until we see the product details. And in the product details area, we want to grab this ASIN, copy this. So we find the ASIN, copy the code, and then paste that in here. Then we want to go along and do the next nine. So we go down to this next one, open this up. Then once again, we will scroll down to the product information, copy this ASIN, and paste this in. So when we are doing this, I should also mention only do products that are the most similar to what you are selling. So the water flosser that I'm going to sell is going to be looking like this. It's not one of these ones that is connected to a big tub of water. Uh, so this one would be not very good. All of these are fine. These ones right here. This one is not very good. This one is not really relating to what we are going for. So you get the idea. We just want to do these very similar ones. So then we would go back here find the ASIN, copy and paste this. And we just do this until we have 10 in here. I should also mention our customers frequently viewed. We want to skip this because this is not showing up on the top page for this specific search term. So we go to more results, open up these, and these are the ones that we want to copy. Once all of those ASINs have been entered, we then want to click right here on a get keywords. And this is now going to go ahead and fetch that data. Now, what we are going to find here when this actually loads in is that we have way more keywords than we need. This is usually going to return anywhere between eight to 15,000 keywords. So if we go down, we can see this has found 12,000 keywords right here. So this is way too many, right? So to get rid of these and to narrow this down, so we only find the best of the best keywords, we want to go up here and we want to start entering in some filters. The first one that we are going to change is the search volume. We want to set this to a minimum of 100, which means this is getting at least 100 searches per month. So this is just going to get rid of any keywords that don't really get enough search volume. The next thing we are going to do is keyword sales. We want to set this to a minimum of eight. And once again, this is just going to remove all of the keywords that don't really make any sales. So as we can see, this one right here gets 250 searches per month, but nobody actually buys from this keyword. So we want to remove these as well. And then the final one that we are going to do is the competitor rank right here. We want to set this between one and 25. And then this is only going to show keywords where the ASIN it is used ranks between number one and number 25. This way we are just once again going to filter out any bad keywords. So we can click on apply filters. And we can see that this has narrowed it down from the original 12,000 to just 66 keywords. So this is a lot better. Now, what we are going to do is with this whole list of keywords right here, we want to go to rows per page and set this to 100 because our amount is under 100 and then select all of these. Now, before we go ahead and add them to a list, one thing that we need to do is just go down here and take out any that have a brand name in. 
So if we hover over this one, CJoy, we can see CJoy is a brand name. So let's remove this. Then all of these are fine. Let's have a look at Waterpuck. Okay, so that's not a brand. Is Waterjet a brand? Nope. Nickwell, is this a brand? Nope. Okay. So this Chinese writing as well, I'm not sure if this is a brand, but I would just remove this. That doesn't give me the most confidence. Costless, we can see right here, is a brand. Uh, Bitver, once again, oh, this is a brand if we look at number two. So we remove this. And then you get the idea, once you've done this a few times, you can kind of just get a feeling of which of them are going to be brands and which of them aren't. And then once we have all of the keywords we are going to use, we just want to add these to a list. So we go add to list, create a new folder. We can call this water flosser. Okay, and these keywords have now been added. So once we have that list created, the next tool that we are going to use inside of Helium 10 is going to be this tool right here, the listing builder, not the analyzer, the builder. So we want to click into listing builder right here, and then we can acknowledge this and start a two day trial. And in here, we can go for create from scratch. So we want to open this up and get started. And then you can choose if you want to enter an ASIN, but we already have the keyword, so we don't need to do this. We just select the Amazon marketplace that you will be selling on, and then we can click start building. In here, it's then going to ask which bank of keywords do you want to create this listing from? So we are going to go for the water flosser in this example that I just created. We want to click here on add to bank. Just like this, all of these keywords are now going to be added in. And once there are, we click on next. Now you really have two options right here. You can either go down and you can start typing this out yourself and entering the keyword in here. And essentially every time you enter in a keyword, it's going to cross this off. So if I type in something like gums, you can see gums is now going to be checked off and gums is up here. If we go for mouth, which is right here, mouth is now going to be checked off and we can really see this list starting to come along. However, a much better way to do this is going to be with AI. So in here, we would enter in the product characteristics. So in here, we could maybe say this is going to be black, uh, durable, and we can enter those in right there. Now, once we've entered in the characteristics, we can now go write it for me in these sections, and it's now going to craft a product title using these keywords and characteristics. And just like that, this title is now created. So we have that in there. We can then go to bullet points and get this to write for me. And then it's going to create bullet point one right here. So we can add this in. Then we can go down and create bullet point two and three and four. And maybe this one is a little bit too long. Uh, so let's remove some of that. And you get the idea. We just go down and create all of these with AI. Then we can click on finish once this has been created. And we now have this listing created that we can just go in and we can upload to Amazon. So that is how you can optimize your product listings on Amazon. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.